Indeed, and Aloha Meatheads, we have a Battle Pass winner. Ice in the champagne right now. Before that, thanks go out to Absolute Sniper. So much gratitude. He also guessed correctly as to the color, but he decided to forego the pass and let it go to somebody else who could use it more. So kind. Two squids enter, one leaves with the prize. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about when Absolute Sniper was the first person to respond literally with the right colors. I panicked. I thought, oh man, did I stick a photo of my arm in somewhere? Maybe on the Discord server because we post a lot of other photos and fun stuff there. And I went back and looked through all my files to make sure I hadn't done anything. But no, he actually guessed correctly. First guy out of the shoot. And um, he got it right. However, only one person can win the colors, but let me tell you about how I came to the conclusion of which colors to pick. And basically comes down as a tribute to the man himself. So many color options. Um, and how to get it just down to two when the, the whole rainbow is out there. I thought maybe something flashy with a hospital and have all that many colors to go with. What could be classic? Maybe some Americana, but that's three colors. A lot of you guess some royalty, some purple, and yeah, tone it down a little bit. That looks pretty good, but uh, nah, not in the white stripes. Getting a little bit closer, but the winner was... Oh, yes, indeed. Classic hot pink and black. Looking good. Babe, it's Barbie pink and black. You look like the female Power Ranger. Stop showing off in front of your friends. We all know you did it for me, Locker. And not some taco man guy. Hmm. Well, let me introduce you to uh, Wife Locker. And, uh... Oh, yeah, it doesn't clean matter. Clean up in here. It's a dump. And it smells kind of like farts. Okay, so congratulations go out to the deal for real of the Rejects clan, also known as Lo. And he's taking us out to celebrate in the Stewart, the M5A1. Drop the hurt on the noobs. Love it. Congratulations, man. We'll be in contact soon. Battle pass headed your way. Thanks to everyone for playing and jumping in and having a f some fun with it and throwing shots at me. <laughs> Much appreciated. Um, I don't mind a bit of ribbon. And we have the deal for real in commemorative hot pink and black insignia rolling out. Ready to smash. A special thanks to Audio Guy for new audio work. This is a, a spot I haven't taken before way back here behind this rock. I usually use the bush to uh, have some camo and to get shots, but this looks like a pretty good spot. I'll give it a try. He was looking for shots across at the heavies that may be there, but looking at the mini-map... Yeah, don't capture the base, man. It's just dumb. Uh, looking at the mini-map, you can see three guys there, and nobody is covering that whole flank. So he's going to go take a peek and see what he can see. And this is one of the nice things about having a light tank, is that you are fast and mobile. You can relocate, so... There is a heavy isolated by himself, and it looks like only a leopard to support him kind of towards the rear another medium most of the team both sides are pivoting towards that southwest corner so it looks like that's where some of the action is going to unfold but the deal for real is looking to see if he can get shots across leopard is firing doing the old prey and spray again So he's smart, so he gets his shot, he knows he's spotted, gets his shot, and gets out of there. So he's gonna go see if they can clear these guys, that'll be two tanks down on red. Oh, a lot of module damage on this guy. Great, so they're just evened up at two apiece. If you just let that reticle settle, you can see the Leo's last shots just barely do anything. Too far away. So a lot of people I see using that tank at tier 5, you got to get real close up in order to penetrate, and it's best to go and zoom on people, boom and zoom, hit the rear and sides and get out of there. Oof, lots of armor. He's got to switch to the APCR. Teams are still fairly balanced, three down a piece. And like most American vehicles, 
and this guy A20 is going to complain the whole rest of the game. Uh, don't die early, dude. It's a balanced tank, so nothing exceptionally well. So he's got good mobility, okay-ish armor, okay damage. It's it's a well-rounded tank. And that is, you know, one of the characteristics of most of the American line tanks that uh, Wargaming develops. They try to give some personality to the tank, some characteristics. So, like, Russians, lots of armor, but quick with a bad handling gun. Things along those lines. A20 still bitching. And you're going to face a lot of Matildas. You'll see those quite frequently at Tier 4. So this is a Tier 4 vehicle, and you really need to learn how to fight those guys. So you see he switched to APCR to get through, and there's a narrow pocket on the front where APCR will penetrate. But generally, try to get them from the sides and rear if you can. There he's using his APCR. And the trade-off when you're using the gold rounds is greater penetration for lower damage in, you know, almost every case. Some tanks are a bit special in that they'll get uh, better damage with lower penetration, but it's very rare. I think the ISU-130 is like that, and, and uh, uh, maybe just a couple others. At this tier, just learn that basically... Oh, nice one. Gets that guy down through the, yeah. through the turret. Nice. Double tapped and puts him away. Great shot. Love it. Oh, yeah. So now they got it to 2v1, although that guy's full HP. It's pretty balanced HP wise. A20 still complaining. Get a crying towel, dude. But notice above the hit points, he's got that three slice of pie circle there full, which means he might get a max roll on his fourth shot. Doesn't get the max roll, we see the exclamation point, but it registered as a higher roll, so you roll on the high side of damage. And I don't recommend doing this when you're a light tank, it's how I ended up with this cast. Ramming heavier objects, but it works out pretty well for him this time. And he gets loaded and ready. Putting down the Hetzer. And up in his cholesterol, because he's loading that family in the back of the family wagon off too. The Golden Arches for a little post-win snack. Epic amount of damage dealt. Damage blocked, decent amount as well. 100% damage destruction. In a light tank, and especially when you're tear down like he is in this battle, it is difficult to get really um, high amounts of damage. A little bit easier when you're tear down in some ways because you have higher hit point pools to work against and to take out. There's the complaining A20, dude. Ugh, not exactly bringing a whole lot to the board yourself. And a yeah, big goose egg, zero damage done. Wonderful, thanks for showing up. So light tanks, you're supposed to distract five like this. You engage with five different tanks. That's your doing your job. All right, hey, first big thanks and shout out to our Patreon pioneers, Horrors, Joe Sixpack, Toes Brother, and Eldin46, keeping the channel advertisement free for everybody else. Please contribute if you can, see how that runs. If you got replays, you can send them to the email address shown, me underscore locker at alter.audio, or send them by PM on Discord or in the appropriate text channel, upload your files, and why not join us for Seal Club Sundays while you're there. Come and join this salty crew of mystery and warriors as we head out on the salt fields and wreck the noobs yeah. and even wreck each other once in a while but when out on the battlefield in the heat facing those noobs always remember Mele Kaliki Maka Pendejos Ooh, yeah